How do you get into the thing you love the most? Assalamu alaikum, this is your brother Muhammad al Shir, and today I'm going to be discussing a question that brother Tariq sent me. He's asking about project management. So he's interested in the field and he's seen that I've done project management. So he's asking, how do I get into this? But I think that the advice I'm going to give you is actually generic. So if there's anything that you're passionate about, that you love, something you're interested in doing, maybe even if you've never ever done it before, then this video is ready for you, inshallah. So the first thing I would say is it's all about your beliefs, right? It's all about your beliefs. That's tip number one, that in order for you to choose something new and to go, to go into, you need to have a growth mindset. What that means is that you need to know that you are capable of developing new skills. You know, a lot of us, we might not um, say it out loud, but we kind of feel like things are very static, like they just stay the same. So if I'm either born with the ability to do computer programming or I'm not really a programmer or I'm good at math, I'm not good at math. These are all kind of things that come from a fixed mindset. Like we think that things cannot change. So it's very important that you have a growth mindset, which means that you realize that you are capable of acquiring new skills and doing new things. So for example, you weren't able to drive before, right? Like you weren't born being able to drive, I'm sure. Um, and But you developed it, right? Same with walking, even walking, like you weren't born being able to walk, you actually developed this skill. Um, and so anything that you want to do, anything you want to achieve in your life in terms of like learning and doing stuff, you're more than capable of doing that, inshallah, right? So what you need to realize is that this growth, this growth mindset is going to help us all the way because um, there's a very famous quote, it's attributed to different people, uh, including Henry Ford. He says, those who believe they can and those who believe they can't are usually both right, right? So the first thing I want to start with is know that whatever this field is, whatever you want to get into, know that you can get into it, know that you can be amazing and you can do it super well as well because we, as Muslims, we should have really high standards. You know, Prophet Sallallahu said, when you aim for Jannah, aim for Firdaus, the highest part of Jannah. So in the same way, like you need to be so good in this field that people cannot ignore you. And if you have that mindset from the start that I'm going to get A stars in this, I'm going to do it to the highest ability possible, then it will change the way you do everything. So the first thing I would say is really get your mind right, get your growth mindset going and believe that you're going to be absolutely amazing at this one field, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is basically all about learning obsessively, okay? Learning obsessively. So now that we've selected that this is the area I really want to specialize in, it's really the area I love, I want to do, then I think you should become obsessed with it, right? Uh, and obsessed means like you go out there and you learn everything possible about it. Now we are so, so lucky, alhamdulillah, that like we live in an era where if there's anything that you want to know about, you just click your fingers and before you can click your fingers or say search Google or Alexa this, you'll have the information you need. So we have this kind of situation where you can go and literally you can watch thousands of hours of video for free or read thousands of articles and pages on any topic that you want so that you start to learn about it, right? Um, so I would say get into the mindset that now that you selected this, go out there and learn as much as you can about this thing, uh, watch videos on it, uh, read articles, uh, even go on to Google and do image searches. I found this is a great world to, way to learn new things by doing an image search and looking for a model and looking for pictures that describe it um, and get into this place where you actually are just like so obsessed that you're continuously learning about it and thinking about it and, and going into all the information that you can possibly get your hands on, including books. Books are actually a much better way to learn, I found, because with videos like this, I've just kind of thought about the idea and I'm sharing it with you. Whereas if I'm writing a book, I'll go into deep research, I'll think about how I write it, I'll eat up the complexity of the book. So books are a really great way to kind of learn on it. And you know, people say if you if you read three books on any one topic, you know more than 90% of the people. Like this is kind of like, it's kind of like you become an expert. Obviously, there's there's more to it than that. But in a way, by you reading three books, let's say I read uh, three books on, I don't know, uh, screens, right? Phone screens. Imagine I read three books on them. H how many people know about phone screens? Probably almost nobody, right? And if I read three books on it, my level of knowledge is so huge. So go out there and be obsessed with learning, right? That's the second thing. The third thing and the final piece of advice I'd give you is go out there and experience, take action, take consistent action, right? Alongside the knowledge, you need the experience. So this is a bit of a tough one now because some people might think, well, you know, I've never done it before. How do I get experience? Well, one of the best ways to get experience when you haven't done something is through giving, is through volunteering, right? So you imagine this brother who's now interested in project management. I would say that you can go out there 
and you can approach local charities, local organizations, your local masjid, anyone and say, look, I'm really interested in project management. Project can be anything. It can be an event. It can be building something. It could be anything. I want to give some hours of my time to this so I can help with this. Now, it may be that you have to start on a slightly lower level. So when I first started, you know, maybe I was just serving food at a wedding rather than being the main project manager, right? So it might be that you need to go a few steps back, but even being a few steps back, that will give you an amazing experience, right? So alongside the knowledge, it's about going out and practically getting experience. And like I said, ask friends and family, um, go to uh, places where you can volunteer, speak to connections, LinkedIn is great for finding people who might be relevant, you can ask them kind of things. Um, and taking action I found is probably the single biggest factor because you know, even if you don't learn anything and you just go out and do lots of projects, you'll eventually learn things, even if you've got no theory, right? If you do just theory and no experience, it's not that great because it makes sense here, but it doesn't make sense uh, in the real world. It's like Mike Tyson, he said, you know, everyone has a plan, um, until they get punched in the face, right? Like once you actually experience it for real, it's very different to how you thought about it in theory. So go out there, get experience. I'm telling you, there's so many organizations and people who are desperate for your help. So if you can even go to them and you don't need to pretend, you don't need to fake it, right? You can tell them that I don't know anything about project management, but I've been learning this and this and this through my obsessive learning. And now I wanna try and apply it. I would like to help you with this project. Can I do it? And because you're doing it for free, people are gonna be like, yeah, of course, come and help me, right? And inshallah, with that, there'll be experiences that you'll get. Of course, there's other things you can do, like qualifications, like for project management specifically, you can do the Prince 2 qualification, which I did. Uh, I, thought, I thought it was very beneficial to do, but it's good to kind of do these things when you've got a little bit of experience. If you do it when you've got no experience, again, it's more theory, uh, and you won't know it until you get into it. So just to summarize, if there's any area of your life that you are very, very passionate about, or something you wanna get into, or a career you wanna get into, the three tips just to summarize are firstly is get a growth mindset, have really super high standards and believe that you can be the best at this thing. Um, the second thing is be obsessive about your learning, go out there and learn absolutely everything about it, become an expert. And the third thing is take massive action through volunteering, uh, through helping other people, through going and just basically finding opportunities to do uh, the things that you love and spend time in this field. I hope that's helped you. Uh, and inshallah, I'll see you soon. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. <laughs>